Brian David Johnson. I'm a futurist at the Intel Corporation, and it's my job to come up with an actionable vision for computing in the year 2020. Now that might sound like science fiction, but actually working at Intel, it's very, very pragmatic. Because for us to design the chips and the platforms inside of your TV, your smartphone, your PC, it takes about five to 10 years. So we're working right now and looking five to 10 years in the future. So the engineers come to me to get a vision of what not only will computing look like, but what will the world look like and what will people want to do with computers in the year 2020. So when I look out to the future of TV, what I really see is that the future of TV is all about screens. TV used to be about the TV that hangs on your wall, and that's beginning to change. And it's being brought about by some of the things that Intel's doing, but it's also being brought about by connectivity, by software, and by what consumers are doing. And what's starting to happen is that TV's really come off the wall, and it's gone into our smartphones, it's gone into our PCs, it's basically going everywhere. And so when I think about the future of TV, how I see it is it's really all just about screens. And it's about maybe the flat screen on your wall, the screen on your smartphone, the screen on your PC. So it's not about one device to rule them all, it's about whatever screen you have handy and whatever screen you want to carry with you or how you can move your entertainment experience with you throughout your day. It's whatever screen you have handy and really the, what's the best way that you can customize your entertainment experience. So as I walk the floor at CES in 2011, the thing that I see that really, really interesting to me is I think the connected TV, the smart TV, has really come of age. I think we're at a really interesting point because for years and years and years, I'm an old TV guy, I've been doing it for about 20 years, we've had hardware problems, we've had software problems, we've had connectivity problems. And I think this year, in 2011, what I see on the floor is that this connected television, this smart TV, the kind of meaningful combination of the TV with the internet has really come of age. And it's really good to see because you're beginning to see not just one solution, but a lot of different solutions and a lot of things that some of them are interesting, some of them are kind of crazy. I mean, you always see kind of crazy stuff at CES. But what's really neat to see is that this market is really starting to happen. So when I look forward to CES 2012, 2013, I think we're going to see a lot more innovation, a lot of really cool experiences that are going to be coming, not just about TV, but about all our screens.